Hey everyone, it's Paula with On Grey Matters, and I'm here to bring you the super special unboxing of this limited edition confidant from Baron Fig. I'm really excited to be sharing this with all of you because the only reason I have this edition is because I was entered into a giveaway with a friend, thanks Juan. So they were kind enough to send this to my home and my family forwarded it to me all the way out here. So it's journeyed a long way and I'm super excited to be filming this again, I'm gonna say it because I am. So let's get started. The only thing I did was remove the plastic covering on this box. So this is the lock and key edition. It's a limited edition by Baron Fig. The key I believe is the Squire pen which comes in with it. This part is the lock. So you can see the little keyhole on the front. I have to say, first of all, the, the first thing that struck me was how gorgeous the design is. Um, it's a really deep forest green. The maze pattern and the lock, really, really beautiful in a simple kind of gold foil. Um, I don't know if it's embossed, but it's definitely like a little bit of a gold foiling. You can see the sheen. On the bottom it says the lock. Mine came with this little bit of damage, but I don't mind because, you know, it's still Baron Fig. So this is the lock. Then on this side you can see that it's a Confidant dot grid hardcover by Baron Fig. So that's really cool. Then again, once you, see, you can see again the lock at the top and on the other side the same exact thing. So it's a really great box. On the back it says the lock. So I'll show you guys up close. Here are the following features. So once again, as usual, it opens flat, it's got dot grid pages and smart dimensions. Um, when you buy a book, you plant a tree. It's got 12 perforated pages at the end. And as usual with Baron Fig, we've got ourselves some quality paper. So this confidant is the flagship size. Um, it's 5.4 by 7 by 7 inches, and it's got 192 pages, and it's forest green, which I'm so excited about. So the color of this on the outside is gorgeous. I can't wait to see what it looks like inside. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna flip this bad boy over. Oh, I love it. Ooh, this is pretty. This is the information card. Let's see. Oh, it's got a cool little maze. So we got this maze going on. Cool. And then it says, let's bring that up for you guys. Oh, I'm putting it in focus. A master's precious treasures lie safe behind a lock. Gold and silver riches within the keeper's stock. Away from prying eyes, the mysteries concealed. Only with the matching key can what's hidden be revealed. Ooh, I like that. Get an artsy. So we got this lock. I really like that. And here she is. Oh my goodness, wow, I don't even know how to express to you how excited I am. So as you can see, the color is absolutely gorgeous. The maze pattern is kind of like debossed with the um, key ring in there, not key ring, keyhole, sorry. Then we've got a peek of this peek 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 of this cute little gold ribbon so I'm gonna pop this out of the box for us Woo. put the box aside so I can already tell you that I love the feel of this notebook I mean here let me show you against my confidant planner they're the exact same size this one's gray it has a little bit gray ribbon this one's forest green it's got a gold ribbon, which I think complements the forest green so well. The feel is the same. It's the same classic confidant, canvasy feel that you look for all the time. So I know it's gonna hold up great. I'm gonna put my gray confidant aside for now so we can focus on this baby. So look, um, feel, aesthetic is fantastic. Really, really love the way this looks. I also really appreciate the debossed look to it. I think it's a great design it doesn't bring so much attention to it but the attention to detail is magnificent so it's something that all stationary lovers everywhere would appreciate um, look at the spine it's pretty nice it lays flat it looks like it's glued I can already see that it's glued I think mine has been a little bit affected by the heat out here but other than that I don't see anything wrong with it the corners look crisp 
Oops, there we go, put that in focus. One of the things I really love about Baron Fig's products is the rounded corners. I have an affinity um, for rounded corners. I love them, I think they travel better, I think they look better. I just really like them in all my notebooks, even traveler's notebook inserts. Then once we pop this open, let's do that. Ooh, again on the inside there's that gold foil. Look at that sheen, woo, nice. Then we have our first dot grid page. I really actually enjoy dot grid. The one thing that I do have to say about this though is that for me, the dot grid seems a little bit dark. I don't know if that's just a personal preference or if that's just something that other people have noticed, but I think these are a little bit dark for my taste. We'll see when I've started writing it how I enjoy it, but you know, the paper feels great honestly super thick and I love the ivory I'm trying to see if I can get that in focus for you guys look it's that off-white color really nice and we've got 192 pages of it which is gorgeous you can see that there when you flip to the back we've got another really great cover page here with the Baron Fig logo on the bottom it says 192 pages designed in New York City assembled in China confidant 2 baronfig.com so really great job with the design on this one I love the little thick back and front covers and the embossed gold leaf and then here at the back we have our 12 perforated dot grid pages so those are really nice just for a little list and things on the go I think that this would be a great notebook to bullet journal in here is our cute little ribbon it's like almost a matte gold which is my favorite shade of gold and once again, I wish they were a hair longer, but at the same time, I honestly think it's so classy looking because it's a little bit chubbier than your usual bookmark ribbons and the end is angle cut, which I appreciate a lot. So I think this would be a great notebook to use as a planner, a bullet journal. I honestly think it would be a great book to use as like a life book kind of thing where you like paste memories into it or like write down your little notes or thoughts or favorite quotes things like that that's what i would use this for um i am really excited to have this and i almost don't want to use it because it's so gorgeous but i can't wait to think of a reason to use it i'm so happy that i got to share this with you stay tuned because baron fing was kind enough to send me a couple more of their limited editions to do unboxings and reviews on so i will chat you guys up soon Thanks again, and this is Paula on Grey Matters. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!